Wednesday, Moha Valley forecast. Yours truly, Jeff Matthews, Accurate Educational Fun, live streaming it. That's why I tell you to like the Weathertainment fan page. A quick teaser on the trivia question for today. What is this thing, this symbol, called? Is that a warm front, cold front, stationary front, or dipsy doodle front? Got you thinking now, huh? Well, let's get to the three weather headlines and get to some weather. First of all, light snow Friday night, two or three inches. Sunday afternoon, snow going to rain, could be freezing rain involved too. Did you know that it's National Pizza Day? Oh, man, I'd like that day every day of the year. Temp trend, 31 is the average. It's slowly going up. Our temperatures are going up, but it'll take some time. Cold Friday with snow Friday night, two or three inches. Saturday, mainly cloudy, three dozen cousin. Sunday afternoon evening is the period to watch, okay? That's where it starts snowing, goes to sleet and freezing rain, and then rain, we hope. Monday, snow showers and flurries into Tuesday and Wednesday, too. There's a storm that brought us a couple of three inches, four inches, five inches even for Otsego County for Thursday morning, but it is now leaving the Gulf of Maine through New Brunswick, Canada, and away. And so we have a cold area of high pressure that will bring a mostly cloudy sky to Friday, but precipitation free until this warm front between the two highs gets dragged in between. It does mean warmer temperatures over the upcoming weekend, but not as warm as what they're seeing out west with temperatures beginning to soar into the 50s and 60s and 70s. They're seeing an early spring in the Dakotas, Iowa, south and west, and they will continue to do so for the next several days. For us, though, this warm front will mean this moisture will drop southeastwards and into our backyard for Friday night and Saturday, a couple of three inches, and then an unrelated storm will bring us the chance for a wintry mix and mess Sunday afternoon and night. Meanwhile, we might see a few breaks of sun Friday after the light snow Thursday night and flurries, but there will be more snow Friday night from the incoming warm front. It'll start probably after 4 o'clock, there's your start time, there's your approximate finish time. So it's after sunset, for the most part, Friday evening, and it ends just after sunrise Saturday morning. The amounts are not big. We're talking two or three inches, maybe one or three for Oneonta and Otsego County. So it's not going to be a monster storm. It'll be low in terms of its impact, plus the fact that it's occurring on a Friday night reduces its impact. It'll be in the snow category, and my confidence for this next incoming storm is high. So you don't have to worry about, uh, I wonder if he is pretty sure about this or not. Yeah, it's going to be a minor event, 1 to 3 inches. Meanwhile, Thursday turned out 25 versus my forecast of 22. We picked up 5 one hundredths when you melt it down, but it was all snow, 2 inches, bringing our snow for the season to 68. 10 21 of daylight, and if you want to see when sunrise and sunset is, there you go. We gained 3 more minutes for Friday. You can support Weathertainment by going to the CNY Weathertainment Partner page and making purchases on workout equipment, movie tickets, a pet cube, eco-friendly cleaning products, sneakers, soccer TV. There are deals to be had all the time on CNYWeathertainment.com. Meanwhile, back to the trivia question. What in the world is that thing? What is it? That's today's trivia question. Is it a warm front, cold front, stationary front, or dipsy doodle front? It's not a warm front because it would just have the red part. It's not a cold front because it would just have the blue part. That leaves the dipsy doodle. But it's not. It's a stationary front. It means that there's cold air to the north, warm air to the south, and that battleground is not moving. It's stationary, which kind of makes sense. If it's not moving, it's stationary. Friday, cloudy, snow after 4 p.m., high of 22, it's cold. Again, maybe a break or two of sunshine. Friday night, light snow, expect about 2 or 3 inches. Low temperatures not as cold as Thursday night, in the upper teens. Saturday early flurries, then mostly cloudy, 3 dozen cousin. Sunday, the wintry mix, so after church services, all bets are off. It should be starting to snow Sunday around midday, then going to sleet and freezing rain, changing back to snow showers Sunday night into Monday morning, and flurries lingering into Tuesday. That's your five-day Mohawk Valley forecast. Make it a great day.